that we're seeing something probably more unusual that we don't expect. This is a woman scientist of 18th century Paris. She was also a woman painter. She was a student of David's. Um, it's, there really was a period of sort of women's lib going on in France in the 17th and 18th century. Interestingly, more before the revolution than after the revolution. Um, but um, what we see here is, of course, a portrait not of a woman, but of a couple. And actually, the man is very famous, or he should be very famous. People at least have vaguely heard of his name. This is Lavoisier. Anybody know what Lavoisier did? I find that no one ever knows how much. Chemist. Chemist. There we have it. Lavoisier, uh, he discovered things like oxygen and hydrogen. He made the first table of the elements. Uh, he is the father of chemistry. He's a big scientist. You know, one of the, maybe the ten biggest scientists. Um, and, um, but, so it's a portrait of him and his wife. But who does the portrait focus on? The wife. Absolutely and totally the wife. Um, how, what's his relationship to his wife? How's he looking at her? Yeah, he's looking up at her. Absolutely. And she was a big queen. Uh, she was a student of David's. She did all of his lab illustrations. She also spoke eight languages, while uh, Lavoisier spoke only French. So she did all of the translations for him from uh, you know, other languages, both of the developing lang uh, literature of chemistry and also of the alchemical literature that he was writing to contradict. Because you know, before people knew about oxygen, they thought that things lit on fire because they had an inherent property which was called phlogiston. There's something you've never even heard of, right? But he was disproving the existence of phlogiston and showing that there was oxygen instead. Um, and she was translating all of the material for him. So yeah, they were really very much a partnership. And I think he's probably looking up at her more as a kind of muse. Uh, you have two choices. I think that in the modern world, he would be looking at her and saying, honey, did I get this calculation right? But I think it's more like, oh, look, here's my inspiration. I think that's the idea. And she, of course, is again looking out at you. Right? She is the public face of the couple. She's also, by the way, a great person for the fashion tour. Very, very much. Lots to say about her clothing, including the fabulous wig. This was called the hedgehog style. <laughs> very, very in fashion in the 70s, 60s, 70s. Um, now, unfortunately, uh, Lavoisier for all his importance as a chemist and also as a philanthropist, enormously charitable man, was guillotined in the revolution. It's probably, you know, people even in America, even in France, think very badly of the French Revolution, right? It's bizarre when you consider the number of advances in human rights bought by the